it's me, Nisi J. Today I'm coming to you with Argan Aura Collection. This is going, I'm going to do a tutorial. Okay, first I just want to rinse my hair off thoroughly. Then I'm going in with the apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse. And I take this rinse and I just distribute it all over my hair around the sides, the, the edges, the back, and just make sure it's evenly distributed throughout my hair. Once it's distributed, I just go in and I just um, actually massage my hair and just actually make sure I lift up any of the residue from my hair. And then once I do that, I just rinse. Rinse my hair thoroughly. And I'm adding my conditioner. You can use any conditioner that you like. I don't have any more of my um, Cream of Nature conditioner, so I'm just using one of my other favorite conditioners. Make sure you apply enough to actually detangle your hair. And I always detangle my hair when, when I have a good conditioner that actually has a great slip. And people always tell me, oh, I know you don't have to detangle your hair, but yes, I do. I take my dimming brush and I kind of go through my hair to the ends. It looks like I'm rough, but I, I'm really not. And it doesn't rip my hair out or anything like that. I just have to detangle my hair. So I go through the same process as everyone else. The key is having a great conditioner with a great slip. Never do it when it's dry. Never can detangle your hair when it's dry. Then I just rinse thoroughly. Now I'm going to apply my leave-in by Cream of Nature. This is called a coconut milk. This didn't come in the curl box, but I am going to use this as well as my leave-in. Okay, now I'm going in with the Moisture and Shine Curl Activator. And I apply a little on my hand, rub it together, and I just apply it throughout my hair. You may need to use a spray bottle to just resaturate your hair. Usually, all the everything that I do, I usually do it in the shower. So, I need to resaturate my hair. And I usually use warm, hot water because I have low porosity hair. And this is what I shouldn't have done used anymore because a little bit goes a long way. So the first application was the best, okay? Just use one good application. Make sure your hair is really drenched, soaking wet, and then apply the moisturizer. Less is best, you guys. You'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Well, I will explain it. <laughs> All right, now I'm going with the flexible style and snot. <laughs> it sounds nasty when I say that. <laughs> But I go ahead and section my hair off. And I squeeze a little in my hand. And I start rubbing. When, once I start rubbing it together, I realize you can't really rub this together. So I, I have enough in my hand right now. And, I, and like I said, now with these products, I realize less is best. You don't need a whole bunch of products. And like I said, I just resaturate my hair. And I'm using what's left in my hand because what I have is way too much. And then I'm just applying it to my first section. So I just actually really used two handfuls of this because I, I didn't really need that much. Now I'm going back in and I'm just shingling. And I'll put my shingling method, if you don't know what it is, in the description of my video. I'll put this in the description box below. Now I'm taking my Diva Curl Tower. It's a microfiber tower. And I'm just going through, taking out the extra water and um, just taking out the extra water so it can dry easily. And this, I have been doing this a lot lately and I really do see a big difference on how my curls are. Or you don't have to use a Diva Curl Tower, any microfiber towel. And see, this is my curl definition. And I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry. 
All right, so my hair was 80% dry, but I went back in and just diffused my hair just to get it completely dry. It took me about five minutes to maybe do this or less because it was really, my hair was really just about dry. So now I just take my pick and I'm not going all the way through. I'm just lifting at the roots to make my, to give my hair a little bit more volume, make it bigger. Now I'm using the Perfect Edges Black. And you see the edges right now, it looks like you, you can tell it's a little thin, it's growing back. I'm so glad about that. But I just want, I always like to cover that up and just, you know, tweak my edges, lay those edges down. And so it looks like a lot, but once I mix it in, I just with my little brush that I take, my little hair, my side brush I call it, and just start really laying those edges down, it really works. I like it. Okay, and this is how my hair looks, day one hair. Okay, my final thoughts on these products. This is, I came to you today because it's second day hair and I really like the volume. I still like the way it feels and the, you know, the little white specks. It's really less now because I put oil on my hair once I took it out of the, my banding method and it looks so much better today. So this is second day hair, it's much bigger. Um, for the apple cider vinegar clarifying rinse, um, I like this too. It really made my hair feel clean um, as I put this on my hair without stripping it. So I did massage my scalp with it and it did, I can tell that it did remove the residue or the buildup out of my hair. So that was really good. This is a good, good product. The next thing um, is the um, Moisture and Shine Curl Activator. Um, and you only need a little bit of this if you're gonna follow it up with the with the um, snot that they have. So just use a little bit of this throughout your hair. Make sure your hair is soaking wet when you use this. A little goes a long way. So I do like the Moisture and Shine Curl Activator. And it did give my hair, I can tell, shine. So I like this. And also the Flexible Styling, styling Snot. And I know why they call it snot because it feels, I mean, and you don't need but a little bit of this product as well. And you can just put it in your hair and, and uh, rub your hands together and go throughout your hair instead of sectioning it off. You can section it off, but if you do, just use a little bit because a little, like I say, with these products go a long way and they smell so good. So now on to the Perfect Edges Black. I really like the way it did my edges. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, the product is a little, it's, it's, it's a lighter consistency to me as regular um, edge control, which I like. So I just put it around my edges and it really does make a difference around your edges and give the appearance of filled in edges, I'll say. So Anyway, thank you so very much for watching this. I give, I really like Cream of Nature. They have really outdone themselves this time. I like the product. So let me know if you have used any of the products. Put it in the description box below. Give me a thumbs up for this video. Subscribe on your way out if you haven't done so already. And click that little notification button. Mm -hmm. Because every time I upload a video, you will be the first to see it. Anyway, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in as always. Peace and love. Love guys until the next time. Bye.